Hey, what is up everybody? This is Stevie Breach coming to you here today. I am uh, sitting here with a whole bunch of Amazon bags here on my table. I will tell you honestly, I was thinking about my DVD collection. I've got a little bit of high over uh, buying some DVDs over the past uh, month or so. Um, it seems like you guys have really enjoyed um, those videos going back in time to like 2010, 2011 uh, when those were like really made. And um, I, I have holes in my DVD collection of DVDs that I haven't really picked up since 2017. Um, everyone's collection is a little bit different. Um, you know, when it comes to a collection, you can make your own rules. You can like pick what you're going to buy. I have chosen that I'm not going to buy the pay-per-view DVDs, but I want to own all of like the superstar collections, the match collections, um, like the specials. Um, things like that. So I felt itchy the other day. I uh, went on Amazon and Target. Uh, there was only one DVD that I really had to, to try and find. Actually, it was Blu-ray. I actually had to buy it off of Macari, um, which is like a, another form of like eBay, I guess you can say. It's, or maybe it's like Craigslist, but with shipping. Um, and uh, this DVD was WrestleMania 24's Blu-ray. For some reason, really hard to find i even texted my buddy mike i said hey hbk hbk fan 25 go back in time and help me find a good deal on this uh i, I wish if my twitter account wasn't uh hacked and taken over by somebody overseas i wish i could have asked my buddy mc uh to help me look for it but uh, i ended up finding a deal on it on macari um if you're looking for it on like on amazon or on ebay you're definitely gonna pay well over a hundred dollars um, for this Blu-ray uh, to get it shipped. I actually found one for, uh, I think it was $40 with a $10 coupon. So I paid $30 um, shipped for it. It's not here yet, so I don't know why we're talking about it. But um, yeah, basically I just went to Amazon and Target and just started buying all the ones that I had missed. So let's just take a peek at these. Uh, this one here, um, when it came out, was not like a well thought of one in my mind. This is the Raw's 25th anniversary. Of course, everybody knows there's lots of um, Raw DVDs. Uh, I'm not sure what this is, if you even get the show or if it's just 25 years of moments, but uh, there's a 10 year, a 15 year, a 20 year. Um, there's Best of Raw 1, there's Best, there's best of Raw 2. Um, it just really wasn't needed. Hopefully on here, you get that Raw 25th anniversary. Uh, that's, of course, where they went to New York. They had a show um, in the Barclays Center, and they also had, like, uh, 205 Live matches running consistently um, from where the first episode of Monday Night Raw was, the uh, Manhattan Center. So that's, of course, where it ended with the uh, DX Balor Club um you, uh, uniting which i think we all thought was going to be something um and uh never really was um from there we'll go to the next one big one from amazon here uh see what they needed such a big back for oh there's a couple in here is why i said it ended up actually being two. Oh. <laughs> This is, this is going to go with another collection that I just started. That's the first one that I've actually received. Um, but this one here is going to be... Yeah, it's from Amazon. So this must be used. It's in like what I would call a team bag from, from my days of collecting sports cards. But this is the best of the Hardy Boys. Um, people say that this is like an alternate cover. There's also one of them kind of like running. Uh, it doesn't have the purple and blue face on there. I don't think it really matters on, on which one you get, honestly. But um, this course was made 2000... Shoot. I don't see a year. But this was made after their return at WrestleMania 33. Just best of matches of Matt, Jeff, and of course as the Hardy Boys themselves. Uh, this one right here, this is the used DVD. Uh, I didn't have any ECW DVDs. So I went through. I didn't buy all of them because there are a few expensive ones. Uh, but I think I honestly bought three quarters of them. So in the next couple of days, you'll see this collection um, start rolling in. This is Hardcore History. This is when ECW had a deal with Pioneer Entertainment. And I was actually looking at the years on these. These kept on coming out even after ECW um, went out of business. But we've got um, Benoit and Dean Malenko versus Sabu and Taz from 95. The Gangsters versus the Eliminators. 
Raven and Stevie Richards against the Pitbulls. Uh, Shane Douglas versus Pitbull 2. Rey Mysterio versus Hubitu Guerrero. Um, we've got Tommy Dreamer versus oh, Primetime Brian Lee. Uh, Cactus Jack versus The Sandman. And Rob Van Dam versus Sabu. Of course, a lot of people all recognize these from the VHS tapes that were really popular at the time. Um, move on to this one. Best of NXT 2017. I think most people uh, can guess why I skipped this one. It just it is what it is. This is mostly going to be matches from TakeOvers. Um, there's going to be some matches from the actual NXT TV show, but I really didn't think I was really missing anything. Highlights include uh, DIY, The Revival, Ty Dillinger. Um, who the fuck is Oni Lorgan? I don't even know who that is. I'm going to have to look that up. Cassius Ono, Ruby Riot, Hideo Itami, Roderick Strong, Pete Dunn, Tyler Bate, and more. So, right there. Best of uh, 2017. Pretty much got the whole roster uh, on there. Uh, Sanity. Never got their time. Um, their name's AOP or something like that. Those dudes were big. Uh, they ended up becoming Rollins Henchman. One of them got hurt. Never got it to make it. Nakamura. Easily, not really what I thought he was going to be when he came to WWE. Should have stayed in New Japan. Uh, you've got the beginnings of the Undisputed Era. Um, you've got Aleister Black. Um, Moon. Um, uh, shoot. Um, I can't remember her name. Bobby Roode. Um, man. Bobby Roode, awesome NXT. WWE main roster. Ugh. <laughs> We've got Asuka, Drew McIntyre. Uh, Sam Almas, who I thought was going to be a main eventer when he came up to the main roster. I can't. Ember Moon. That's her name. Ember Moon. Best of Raw, 2017. Um, last one was the big one. I'm not sure how many are going to be in here. Honestly, it feels like three, but it just could be two. Three just sets in there for all that I know. But I've had a lot of fun uh, picking these up. Oh, you got three in here. Uh, we got. Two of them that I broke my rule for, like I said earlier, that I wasn't buying the actual pay-per-views, but these are WrestleManias. So, I mean, you gotta have them. Um, we've got WrestleMania 2019, which would be WrestleMania 35. Uh, this, of course, was headlined by uh, Becky Lynch, Ronda Rousey, and Charlotte. Remember when Charlotte won the championship on the last episode of SmackDown for no reason, just to you know, make the match a little bigger? But really added nothing to the fact that, you know, she brought another belt to the party. Uh, Roman Reigns, is this the one where he beat Undertaker? I don't remember. Oh, I threw it. Uh, so that's the end of that one. WrestleMania 2018. Hated missing this one. All of my guys went. They said this was probably the last best trip um, that we went on. Um, I missed it, man. Uh, back to New Orleans, of course, only four years after the last one in 2014, and of course being WrestleMania 30. Uh, WrestleMania's never, you know, repeated itself. Uh, besides, you're talking about WrestleMania 1, WrestleMania 2, and WrestleMania 4 and WrestleMania 5. Most of the times, there's like at least a 10-year gap. But that's how much everybody liked New Orleans. Um, this one, of course, is... This is Undertaker versus Cena... We've got Daniel Bryan's return with Shane McMahon. We've got Roman and Brock. We've got uh, Braun Strowman winning the uh, championship with the kid out of the crowd. Tag match involving the, the um, McMahons uh, with Kurt Angle and Ronda Rousey. Um, we've got in the pre-show, we've got Matt Hardy winning the Under the Giant Memorial Battle Royal. Um, Charlotte had a big match. Seth Rollins won the Intercontinental Championship. I think that was a three-way with Miz and Balor. Uh, and then uh, Jax and Alexa Bliss. Oh, AJ and Nakamura. Uh, and then the last one, of course. These, honestly, were the worst releases that WWE came out with. Every year, you'd buy these, put them on the shelf. I can easily say that uh, I've never checked these out. I guess that's not going to be a big deal that I got the Canadian version um, I just realized that, but, um, 2017, what's your biggest moment from Monday Night Raw? The ending of The Shield? I don't know. <laughs> That's really 
all I can think of is when they actually came back. But there's about everybody right there. Um, I'm sure if you put this in, you watch it, there'll be one moment where you're like, oh, I'm glad that I got it, so I have that now. But off the top of my head, you know, the Bar, the Usos, Bailey, Kevin Owens, Samoa Joe, New Day, uh, Randy Orton, Charlotte Nakamura, Bray Wyatt, um, the Shield. Oh, how are you doing there, bud? <laughs> Jinder Mahal making an appearance on a DVD cover. Uh, Braun Strowman, Sasha Banks, AJ Styles, Becky Lynch, The Miz, Finn Balor, and Alexa Bliss. So that's the end of day number one. Like I said, there's going to be a bunch of these rolling in. It, it is the first one uh, to contain an ECW DVD. It's the newest DVD collection that we're building. But right there. Let me know what you guys think. Peace out, guys. See you guys soon.